Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to solve the problem of uh, a double integration by Gauss quadrature method, numerical method. Uh, what I will first do is I will first solve this problem by exact method and then we are going to solve the problem by Gauss quadrature method and we will compare the results and see whether our Gauss quadrature method is actually good enough. So first let me solve the problem by exact method. To begin with, just consider a double integration where the equation that we have to integrate is x, y and we have to integrate with respect to x and we also have to integrate with respect to y. As far as this double integration is concerned, when you want to integrate with respect to x, the y term can be assumed to be a constant. And when you are integrating with respect to y, the x can be assumed to be a constant. Okay. So in this way, the double integration will not be very confusing. So we are going to do exactly the same. We are going to just pull exactly the same trick here. So what I will do is uh, first I will integrate with respect to r. So I, ha I will be keeping this uh, s minus 1 the whole square to be a constant. So because it is a constant what I can do is I can just pull it outside the integral and I will just put only one integration because I am just assuming I'm pretending that s minus 1 the whole square is a constant I'm, and I'm just going to integrate only with respect to r. If that is the case what I will get is I'll get s minus 1 the whole square which can be treated as a constant because I'm integrating only with respect to r. So what is inside the integral will be r q minus 1 and I have to integrate with respect to r. The limit is from minus 1 to plus 1 and I'm not going to put the second integration symbol. Just avoid confusion and if you want you can just put the integral sign minus 1 to 1 because s minus 1 the whole square you are going to integrate this. And if you want you can just put this ds but just to avoid confusion for time being, what I will do is I will just erase this and I will also erase the ds. Okay, so I will, I'm just going to integrate with respect to r. So let me do this integration. It's just going to be s minus 1 the whole square. If you integrate the term that is inside the integration, it's going to be r power 4 by 4 minus r and the limit is from minus 1 to plus 1. So if I just substitute the limits, I will be getting s minus 1 the whole square into, if I substitute the upper limit for this term here, I will be getting 1 by 4 and minus of, if I substitute the lower limit, I will be getting 1 by 4, so 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 is going to be 0. Minus if I substitute the upper limit, it's 1. If I substitute the lower limit, it is minus 1. So at the end, I'll be getting 2 into minus 1. So I'll be getting minus 2. So the result here is it's going to be minus 2 into s minus 1, the whole square. Now I'm going to integrate this term with respect to s. So let me do that. It's integral from minus 1 to plus 1. I can just bring this minus 2 outside the integration because it's just a constant. And I'm going to integrate this with respect to s. So what I will be getting before I do this integration, I, I'll just expand this by using a minus b the whole square formula. Integral between the limit minus 1 to 1 a square plus b square minus 2ab and I'm going to integrate this with respect to s. So I'll be getting minus 2 and s square, if I just integrate s square, I'll be getting s cubed divided by, let me write that, it is s cubed divided by 3. And I will just integrate this term here, it's 2s. So I'll be getting s square divided by 2, 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator, they cancel each other out. And if I integrate 1, I'll just get s. The limit is from minus 1 to plus 1. So let me go ahead and substitute the limits. So outside, it is minus 2. So it's going to be 1 by 3 minus of minus 1 by 3. It's going to be 2 by 3. 
and it is minus 1 minus or minus it's going to be two, minus 2 and uh, I think I just missed s square here okay if that is the case let me erase this okay it's uh, 2 by 3 minus s square if I substitute the upper limit and the lower limit then that term when you substitute the limit this term just becomes 0 and here plus when you substitute the upper limit minus of lower limit you just get 2 so upon solving this you get minus 2 and it's going to be 8 by 3 you are going to get minus 16 divided by 3 that's the answer so if you just solve this you'll be getting minus 5.333 so that's the answer by exact method now I'm going to solve this problem by numerical method Gauss quadrature method let us try this I'm just going to follow the same procedure I'll be treating uh, first for uh, first I'm going to integrate with respect to R keeping s as constant then I will integrate with respect to s so let us do this by numerical integration so let me write the question the question is integral over the limit minus 1 to plus 1 double integral minus 1 to plus 1 it's r q minus 1 into s minus 1 the whole square I have to integrate with respect to r and I have to integrate with respect to s okay first I'm going to integrate uh, with respect to dr so I'll be keeping this s minus 1 the whole square and I'll just be treating that as a constant all right so let me do that so according to Gauss quadrature method first I have to find the number of Gauss points the number of Gauss points is symbolically denoted as m and it is given by the formula n plus 1 divided by 2 where n is the order of the polynomial since I am integrating with respect to r the order of the polynomial is going to be 3 so it's going to be 3 plus 1 divided by 2 and that is 2 so the number of Gauss points that you have to take is 2 remember the function here is r cube minus 1 of course s minus 1 the whole square is just a constant so r cube minus 1 uh, into s minus 1 the whole square that is going to be your function f and you know what is the formula for integration by Gauss quadrature method denoting the result of the integration as capital I it's simply w1 f1 plus w2 f2 plus w3 f3 so on and so forth this is the general form we have already derived this in the previous video so because the number of Gauss points that you have to take is only two what I will do is I will just chop these terms off all right then so we know for two Gauss points the, the value of w1 is going to be 1 the value of w2 is going to be 1 and the value of r1 you can also call this as epsilon 1 if you wish is going to be plus 1 by root 3 the value of r2 uh, you can call that as epsilon 2 minus 1 by root 3 okay uh, it, you can also use it interchangeably r1 can be minus 1 by root 3 r2 can be plus 1 by root 3 either way you are going to end up with the same answer so let me expand this integration it's going to be w1 and the value of f1 is going to be r1 q minus 1 because s minus 1 the whole square is a constant I'm not going to add any suffix here s minus 1 the whole square so that is w1 f1 plus w2 into f2 what is the value of f2 it's going to be r2 minus r2 cube minus 1 into s minus 1 the whole square all right so it's going to be w1 the value of w1 is 1 the value of r1 is plus 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3 the whole cube uh, it's going to be 1 by 3 root 3 so that is 1 by root 3 the whole cube minus 1 all right so let me put a bracket here it is s minus 1 the whole square I think I can just okay s minus 1 the whole square I'm just doing one more step here plus the value of uh, w2 is 1 and here it's going to be minus 1 by 3 root 3 because the value of r2 is minus 1 by root 3 minus 1 
into s minus 1 the whole square so what i will do is i'll take this s minus 1 the whole square that is appearing in the two terms here i will just bring it outside the integral so i'll be getting s minus 1 the whole square into if i just uh, um, if i if i have to solve this it will be 1 by 3 root 3 minus 1 it will be minus 1 by 3 root 3 uh, minus 1 okay uh, let me check it it is 1 by 3 root 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 root 3 minus 1 all right into okay fine so I'll be getting s minus 1 the whole square this plus 1 by 3 root 3 minus 1 by 3 root 3 they cancel each other out I'll be getting minus 2 so if I integrate the expression by Gauss quadrature method with respect to all I'll be getting minus 2 uh, and you can see where the story is headed because we got minus 2 even for the, for this we got minus 2 here when we integrated with respect to r so I think we are heading in the right direction now I have to integrate the s minus 1 the whole square term so let me continue the discussion so in the next step it's going to be minus 2 into s minus 1 the whole square so I have to integrate that term with respect to s so here again the order of the polynomial m the number of cos points is denoted as n plus 1 by 2 so I'm going to get 1.5 which approximately equal to two terms so let me continue this it's going to be w1 f1 plus w2 f2 so let me substitute that minus 2 into the value of w1 is 1 so I'm not writing that it is s1 minus 1 the whole square plus the value of w2 is also 1 so I'm not writing that it is s2 minus 1 the whole square that is w1 f1 plus w2 f2 minus 2 it's just kept outside so in the next step it's going to be minus 2 into you know what is the value of s1 it's plus 1 by root 3 so it's plus 1 by root 3 minus 1 the whole square it's going to be plus of minus 1 by root 3 minus 1 the whole square so what I will do is I'll just take the minus 1 outside from this equation because there is a square there there I can say it is plus so it's 1 by root 3 minus 1 the whole square it is uh, plus um, 1 by root 3 uh, plus 1 the whole square okay if I if I just try to take the minus 1 outside I'll, I'll just end up with minus 1 square so that is plus 1 okay so it's very simple now I can just do it minus 2 and 2 I'll be getting 1 my minus uh, maybe I can just expand it by using a minus b the whole square formula it is a square plus b square minus 2ab right so it's going to be a square plus b square plus 2ab so minus 2 by root 3 plus 2 by root 3 they cancel each other out so in the end I'll I'm getting minus 2 I'm getting 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 it's 2 by 3 plus 2 so we know where the story is heading it's minus 2 into it's 8 by 3 okay so I'm getting minus 16 by 3 which is approximately equal to 5.333 so you can compare the results and you can see that the two results actually sort of go hand in hand shoulder to shoulder um, so we are just getting the same answer so one thing that you have to keep at the back of your mind is the table of course you have to remember this table and also you see that uh, any complicated functions can be easily integrated by if you, if you just know the number of cos points and the cos points the values the weights and the values 
of uh, R1, R2, R3, S1, S2, S3, so on and so forth. What you can do is you can just easily integrate any complicated uh, integrations. Uh, we will do one more problem, a, a slightly involved problem, maybe triple integral, and you, you will definitely be able to appreciate the numerical integration. So uh, this, these types of problems you can expect in uh, university examinations. So thank you all for your patience. I appreciate your time.